us as uh, they were shouting, more you shout, so more you see things. Uh, the bread of 450 is now 2,300. Uh, what is your point of view? Our point of view is you have seen it, you take it like that. Uh, you walk up uh, the increasement of price of fuel. You take it like that. You see the. Uh, you are talking about gas. You just take it like that. Whatever you see, you take it. People are tired of all this. Nigerians are tired of all these things that are happening to them. We are living in this country today as if there is war. Many Nigerians are running heta skater. Wherever you see, you just put your head. Any country that can welcome you, you run to that side. That is what is happening. As if there is no more hope in Nigeria. So, that is it. Because you are asking my point of view, isn't it? Uh, what can I say? Because in Nigeria, it's as if you talk, you die. You don't talk, you die. Uh, that's what the country has become. But I will say it is also the fault of Nigerians. Everything started in 2015 when Nigerians were chasing, uh, uh, was it good luck, Jonathan? Away. They were welcoming uh, the other one. They said he's their savior. That's where all those things started. Nigerians have suffered. They suffer everything. There was a time they suffered cashless. Many people died. And today they are suffering uh, increasement of price of everything, all the food items. Many Nigerians are unable to eat even once a day. And today you don't have any choice for anything. You don't choose food. Whatever you see, you eat. If you don't see, you keep on moving until whatever will happen will happen. So it's not only that. Do you think that there's any alternative to the cooking gas for Nigeria? To any alternative to the cooking gas for Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> because I know, I know the traditional way of cooking for firewood. Oh. I know that even kerosene is not even something that people can never buy like that because it's not expensive. Okay, we don't advise Nigeria to go back to firewood. Okay, you are coming to what Jonathan said when he was going out. He said, he told Nigerians uh, that uh, the new leaders you are choosing will take you back to old world. So what are we doing? Are we moving forward or we have to go backwards? So, so if uh, Nigerians, you will, uh, if you are not uh, advised us today, when you are living in an upstate, to use firewood in an upstate, and smoke will be going to people's rooms. You can't pass to you. If, uh, if, uh, if you are living uh, in an upstate, you have to, you know, put to firewood. <laughs> it's also... <laughs> Everything is happening in Nigeria. Many things are happening. If it is what we have to do now, uh, tell us. We can start to try it. But I'm afraid that uh, everywhere <laughs> can be on fire. We see sometimes uh, women, women, all those market sellers, restaurants, uh, they would like to warm their food. If they would do it with the firewood, but I'm afraid uh, the whole market can, you know, catch fire. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Uh, going back to the ancient world today, <laughs> if it is advisable, anything can happen in Nigeria. We can also do it, but I'm afraid. Thank you.